Okay, this is quite fucking strange. Hey, look, it's North America. And Florida, I think. So, where the fuck are we? In Area 51? Something strange going on here, and I don't like it. We survived. I think we did. Okay, how the fuck is everyone on the ground set facing me? Is everyone that? okay? I yes. think they're doing. I think that was fun. It was all zap, boom, okay? Okay. <sighs> What are we going to do with you, Lemel? Just throw all the we window. We were definitely caught in the black hole. Did we escape from its event horizon, then? Nah, man. No. I'm afraid that would be impossible. Perhaps it just happened to be a black hole with an ergosphere? The fuck is an ergosphere, man? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose one might call it an escape through a type of wormhole. In any event, the fact that we escaped at all can only be called a miracle. We need to escape. We were swollen whole. No, I'm certain my and analysis is correct. The side. Miss Raimi, you doubt me as well? Do this just go with the window. Our home world? Is this Earth? I think it's another type of Earth. I think it's all in the comments. In the comments. I mean, in the trophies. It's like an alternative Earth. Alternate Are we sure Earth. then? You can yes, go. The results are the same every time I check. The stellar coordinates are an almost perfect match. There's no question that this planet is Earth. I see. I doubt it, but whatever. What's wrong? This is Edgy and Ray Ray's home, isn't it? But both of them don't look very happy about it. Because it's an alternative type of Earth, not a real thing. I don't think it's so much thing. unhappiness as it is bewilderment. Indeed. Arriving at one's home planet under such strange circumstances would put anyone ill at ease. That's yeah, not the whole problem. There are subtle discrepancies between this Earth and ours. Okay, the this isn't difference? the most flattering part of our planet's history, but... A little before Raimi and I were born, the worst war in all of Earth's history occurred. Not gone with the result was that the surface of the planet became terribly contaminated, and humans had no choice but to go deep underground. It's been the same situation ever since we were born. The polluted environment still hasn't improved. Dude, it's only been, what, of course, 50 years? That was the very reason we looked to space. But there are no traces of pollution on the surface of this planet. Well, it's not quite accurate to say none at all, but it's still an environment in which humans could live. It's almost like the war that nearly destroyed our planet never even happened. See, alternate it. The fact that something you took for granted suddenly no longer applies is somewhat troubling. And there's another thing. The organization we belong to, the USTA, I can't get through to headquarters. Hmm. Mysterious issues all. Something unexpected may have happened here in your absence. Nah, oh, man. Hmm? Uh, what is it, Lim? Everyone stops standing around and being all weird, Kay. Let's go out. I want to see Edgy and Ray Ray's home. What? Come on, go. Uh, Come down, okay? You see, Lemo. All right. Let's do it. Edge? Let's explore this shit. The air outside seems breathable. I'm going out there to take a look. See if we can't find someone. In that case, I shall join you. And I as well. As a scientist, I am intrigued. No shit. Me too. <laughs> okay, let's all Lemo, go you stay and watch the ship with Raimi, okay? Mm. Okay, that's a nut job. Raimi? Asshole. Take care of Limo while we're out. Gotcha. Like always do. Hey! Don't do anything stupid, Edge. Don't worry, I'll make certain of it. Yes. I have two guys looking out for me, man. Uh, why are the two of you answering for me? I guess because I won't have cool. to worry if FaZe and Bacchus are with you. Hmm. Wait, oh yeah, it's called Bacchus, not Bacchus. Yeah, whatever. The most westernized music they could ever find okay i think we can go inside the shop hmm. 
Okay, no one's around. We can this loot place this place. Is deserted. No shit. Sure right? is. And has been for some time, from the looks of things. For now, let's split up and see what we can uncover. Report if you find anything. The fuck? Shim. Is that, a, is that a different type of Times magazine? Huh? What? This can't be. Why am I witnessing check shit? What do you mean, Edge? Judging from the color degradation caused by ultraviolet rays, I'd say it's been abandoned for about three years. That's... I suppose that's not particularly important, but... Yeah, well, not. don't jump to conclusions, FaZe. If nothing else, I just figured out when we are. Okay, what time is it? The date on this magazine is too faded to read, but there was an article inside that caught my attention. You didn't even open the book. Two years after initial experiments, our country has at last perfected the ultimate doomsday weapon. The hydrogen bomb is what it says. So what? Are we in the 20th century? If I century? remember my history, the first practical yeah. hydrogen bomb on Earth was developed in 1954. Okay. So basically, if you're saying this magazine is three years old, that would put us in the year 1957. We in other travel. words, we're on the Earth of nearly 150 years ago. Nice. <gasps> the Earth of 150 years ago? That... That's not even possible. I'm not so certain, Mr. Faze. Well, even you, Bacchus? What you... Mr. Bacchus. Edge, a short time ago I intercepted some radio waves, albeit weak ones. Radio waves? Like old broadcast radio? What did they say? The transmission was as follows. Some days ago, the historic honor of launching the first artificial satellite slipped through our fingers. Instead, going to the Reds. Goddamn you, communists. This unfortunate occurrence has prompted the president to announce new plans for manned rocket missions, promising to put men in space before our rivals. Ooh, you are Mr. Edge, space how would you interpret this information? Anyone who's ever dreamed of going into outer space knows the story. The first successful launch of a man-made satellite was... The middle of the last century, 1957. No wonder we can't reach anyone. In 1957, the USTA wasn't even a twinkle in someone's eye. Honestly, I can't believe it. But with this much evidence piling up, I guess we have no choice but to face reality. Boy, time travel, boy. The planet we made our emergency landing on may be Earth, but it's an Earth from almost 150 years in the past. Phase? Didn't you mention this sort of thing before, Phase? An error in mid-warp that can cause a ship to end up in another time entirely? Oh, oh yeah, that, cr that crap. No, this situation is somewhat different. That was brought about by the distortion caused by warping within the space-time continuum. Okay, the dangers so associated the with it are nothing more than arriving earlier or later on the standard temporal axis. If the theory we're positing here is true, it would be time regression. And such a thing is absolutely not possible. Why? Though, with the situation as it is, I hesitate to apply the term absolutely. And mm. go to? If we posit that time regression has indeed occurred, it would mean we're now located in a space topologically distinct from that in which we were previously. So a different timeline. In the current situation, I do not yet have enough information to say whether such a thing is even possible. Dude, just but if embrace the reality it, is that reality. we now stand upon the past Earth, we have no choice but to accept it as fact. So, let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. We've been transported to the Earth of 150 years in the past, and we currently have no way of getting back, right? That if sucks. this truly is the Earth of another time, then yes, I'm afraid there is nothing we can do to return. That sucks, totally. 
the only thing I can say for certain is this. It's pointless to keep standing around here. Yeah, let's explore more. Let's return to the Kalnus and review the situation together. Then we can decide what to do. The fuck is that? What? Is that a bus? Is the cops? The FBI? The CAA? The men in black? Oh, it's a fucking army. The Kalnus! Damn it! What did they get here? They're quite well regulated. I suppose they must be soldiers of some sort. Yeah, it's a Even fucking so, army. they've arrived much too quickly. They must have a base of operations nearby. I know what you're landing in here, 51. This was more than just a ghost town. This isn't let's swap theories time. Raimi and Limmel are still inside. Yeah, we need to save her. Wait. Save them. The fuck are All you, they man? want is to capture the extraterrestrials inside. If nothing else, I can assure you no one will be harmed. How can you assure that, man? I wouldn't go recklessly provoking them if I were you. Okay, so what's your plan, boy? Who are you? You refer to us as extraterrestrials quite casually. Are you with those soldiers over there? What do you people want from us? My... My name is Klaus Bachtein. You have to trust me. I'm your friend. And how... Is that possible? <sighs> Mr. Bakhtai. We are fucked. I must request an explanation. On what ground should we consider you to be our friend? Good question, Bakhtai. Fair enough. Good question. But first, we must find a better place to talk. You'll oh. all be found if we stay here. Fine, let's go with the man. You see the house with the red roof over there? Sorry. That's my home. What, that one? Come with me. I'll give you the details there. Fine. Edge, are you really going to trust him? I mean, we have we no one to trust. That this may be a trap. Well, that's also a possibility. Thanks, Bachus. Or he might really want to help us. If nothing else, he presented himself to us unarmed. Besides, he has no idea who or what we are. Yet he shows his back to us. That's not the kind of man I want to doubt. Come on, guys, we Thank got you. things to do. No need. That is very like Mr. Edge. Yes, I am truly no match for him. Come on, there's no time for furthering him up. Let's go, guys. On the move, let's see what our man has to say to us. Goddamn US Army. Good. Here we are. Edgy! Limo? Oh, what the fuck? Man, that guy sure was quick. Good grief. Please don't scare us like that. For a moment, I thought it really was a trap. Yeah. But still, what are you doing here, Lemel? Yeah. Weren't you staying in the Kalnus? Mm. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What, you called the 911? What exactly happened, Limmel? Klausi. Stupid nickname. Allow me to explain. Sure, tell me your story, man. Okay, great story. I see. So that's what this is all about. Hey, look, I got this. Your country's no. army has troops stationed at a base here, and the ruined town serves to oh, camouflage no, it's, it. It's liberty. Interesting. So the men surrounding the Kalnus were indeed soldiers after all. Of course they were, Banchus. But sure they were. Limo. Where's Raimi? Raimi was captured trying to protect you. While we're all glad Klaus rescued you, you shouldn't have been so careless as to leave the Kalnus. I'm sorry. I was a bad girl. And now Riri's gone. I mean, she's not gone. She's just well, captured. I suppose there's little point in scolding you after the fact. But... If you're truly sorry about what happened, that's more than enough. Not even Raimi would be angry with you, Limmel. Edgy. I mean, maybe a little, but not Besides, that I'm partially responsible for this myself. It was a mistake to split us up under conditions like these. 
Yeah, great move, Edge. Great move. I won't make that mistake again. Now we lost Raimi to the U.S. Mm. Army. Let's go, people. We're rescuing Raimi. And how the mm. fuck are you going to do that? It's nearly impossible to get into the base from outside. Why don't you leave this part to me? Okay, man. What do you mean? Well, What's pretend that I've apprehended you, and that I'm bringing you in. That should allow us to get inside without causing too much fuss. Okay, that sounds like a strange plan, but... I see. I mean... Yes, that would certainly allow us to avoid unnecessary trouble. But one question remains. Okay, what is? Which is? Mm -hmm. What exactly is your motive for assisting us? Hmm. Forgive me, but you're far too knowledgeable about what's happening here. What Still if the he hands us all over together? Are you that kind of man, Klaus? You have every right to doubt me. But even so, I want to help you. All right. In that case, I'll leave our method of entry into the base to you, Klaus. Edge! Wait, Klaus hold on. saved Limmel after all. And Limmel isn't the kind of girl who would get this close to someone who couldn't be trusted. But more Good than point. anything else, I trust him. Like I said, he came to us unarmed, and he turned his back on us without hesitation. It would mm -hmm. appear you have lost again, Mr. Faze. <laughs> so it would appear indeed. <laughs> Got much to learn, boy. Thank you. You may have already suspected this, but the truth is, I once worked at the base myself. As and a scientist, work. let the aliens go around and you I was involved up the job. with research into a certain field. Okay, what is? My field was extraterrestrials and the super technology they brought with them. Yeah, Area 51. All Mr. Over Bug again. Time, are you implying that the existence of extraterrestrials is known on this planet? Maybe not known, but well, kind of rumors. Not by the public, of course. And that's exactly why the researchers must be having trouble controlling their excitement right about now. Holy fuck. Why would that be? It's not very often they get their hands on an unscathed ship like your Kalnus. Not to mention uninjured extraterrestrials. But Raimi is more If they can understand than your anything. technology and make it their own, these people who once struggled in obscurity can suddenly become heroes. Let me excuse. Two birds with one stone. Your super technology, their fame. They'll be able to go public. They do it without even stopping to consider how dangerous such advanced technology might be. Damn it, man, calm down. What kind of scientist would accept a breakthrough handed to him on a plate? We Anyone? need to catch up with you on our own, through our own abilities. Nobly. To be honest, our species just isn't ready for your technology. Yeah, we're just in the year of so 1950 you something. I want you to leave this planet as soon as possible. Will do, man. If I must have a motive, I suppose that would be it. I see. I like this guy. Actually. There's one other thing I need to ask. No, we're not blaming you with anything. As it happens, there's another extraterrestrial besides your friend who's being held captive in the base. And who it is? There are extraterrestrials on Earth other than us? Yes, a young girl named Miracle. The cat? No, just a damn cat. She has ears and a tail that look just like that Damn it, I feel naming the cat. You'll know her when you see her. <laughs> come on, Liam. Come down, man. I beg of you, take Miracle back to her home planet. Okay, here's a question. How you the have my word. We'll do our best to get right her home. I mean, we're gonna keep Miracle, but whatever. Thank you. I mean, mostly me. But whatever. So let me get this straight. Mirko is the cat lady. Then who the fuck is Angel Life Woman? Zarus? What the F bitch?
probably she is gonna have another fucked up name, but whatever. Box. Fuck you. How many boxes are there? Many boxes. I must retrieve the boxes. Well, no place I get. Okay, not this. Uh, I don't know. I know as soon as this is the planet, I won't be able to go back here again. I think. But my damn inventory is all completely full. So, I'm a little fucked. Okay, rather. That's something. Damn it. I wanna bring up the map and just then I bring up the fucking menu. So I know there's a box over here. Sorry guys. Okay, here it is. Ooh, silver amulet. Nice. Okay, I'm still gonna complain about, about how western this music is. Like something from the Red Dead the Redemption. Kind of games. Can't get any closer, the city would notice. We're gonna stay away from them for now. Okay, then where the fuck are we going then, man? Inside the garage again? Okay, I got big berries. Pretty useful. Oh, look, a telephone. Uh, you know, Banchus, I was quite surprised at you. Your body has so many various functions. No kidding. Who knew you could receive terrestrial radio waves? There is nothing to it. I got my body to prepare for every foreign scene event. When I execute a mission in amateur territories, one way can be altered by even the smallest nugget of information. The interception of radio waves is one, one of the many ways I collect their information. I see. Does that mean you are still receiving all manner of signals in them now? In that I am. That's a value information doesn't often come quite so simple. The information is far limited my current reception status. For instance, the signal I'm seeing now hmm, will seem to be engaging strong from this planet. The melody is of a distant construction, unlike anything commonly heard on EA2. A musical channel or something? I'll be interested in what was bubbling during this time period that I... Who do you later to hear to? A fine idea. I too am greatly intrigued. You agree with me to admit, but I cannot. Why is that? I am not equipped with external radio wave playback functions. The only option to let third parties hear this song will be to have my own mouth but I'm afraid I'm um, not the finest vocalist. In other words, you mean you're embarrassed to sing because you you're too deaf. Precisely. I apologize. So they are disadvantaged that body as well. I mean, just go on YouTube and look for Johnny Guitar. Same deal. Okay, I got blackberries, but not enough. Because my fucking inventory is full as fuck. What a disgrace. I know there's a box over here. Okay, I got thorn berries. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Can you over here? Uh, not quite right. I know there's gonna be a way to go. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be on the field for something, but I'm not in understanding what I'm supposed to do, or even where the fuck to go. They may beat up this cat. This me. Or go through this door. And that would be cool if there was a post game where I can go to anywhere I want. Just to recover this type of boxes. I'm 
couldn't get. But I you say there was a phone back here? Okay, there it is. Examine. As per arrangements, from here on out, I will hold on to your weapons and conceal myself. Wait, can you be visible? Nice. Holy fuck. Baki. Baki disappeared. Oh, the guy's still there. <gasps> Is that symbology? Nah, man, it's technology. It's woman. optical camouflage. Incredible to think such advanced technology has been perfected. I'll feel much safer indeed with Bacchus watching our backs. Yes, indeed. No kidding. Excuse me for just a moment. I need to call in. Call what? Your wife? By all means, man. Oh, it's one of those dial rotating crap. It's me, Mila. Yes, I'm getting by. I thought I might cooperate with you today. The fuck's Mila? I'm serious. Not being able to work convinced me that you were right. Think they know each other? Sounds that Bro. way to me. Come on, please. That was I the dumb question. I brought a something we can use to continue our research together. That's right. I'd like permission to enter. A okay, now what? Three. Understood. Get the entrance, would you? Okay, now what? Man, and you think man is not ready for that exploration technology? Getting in alone would have been difficult indeed. The base is below. Whenever you're ready. Okay, man. That's nice. 